Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 12th of 2020, well, it is titled The Horsehead Nebula in Infrared from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Horsehead Nebula. Now, it, you can see the shape of the horse there. Uh, the horse head, sort of like a knight piece from chess. However, it may not look like what you're used to seeing for the horse head nebula. And in fact, if we look at the image from December the 17th of this past year, we also see the horse head nebula. And in that case, it looks a little more uh, like what we're used to seeing, the reddish glow from Orion's hydrogen gas and the dark uh, area blocked out by dust clouds. Now, if you look at some of the features there and then go back to the image that we're looking at today, you can see how well they match up. The difference between the two is that the one from December 17th, we are looking at visible light. That's how we are used to seeing it. In the image for today, we are looking at it in infrared. And infrared allow, gives us a different view. We're getting to see the dust clouds. So we can start to see some of the structures associated with the dust clouds there. Whereas in the December 17th image, we can still see them, but they're all dark. They're blocking out all of the light from behind. And here we're starting to get to see some of those infrared emissions from the dust clouds. Uh, dust clouds are cooler than stars and they emit a shorter, uh, I'm sorry, longer wavelength light, which would be infrared. So they give off a lot of infrared light, uh, just as we can see things that are heated uh, like a human being with a night vision goggles. We see the infrared because of their, their temperatures. Uh, people themselves do not give off visible light. We reflect visible light from other sources, but we do not give off visible light. Well, dust works the same way. It is not giving off visible light, but it does give off infrared, and that allows us to see some of the structures and to look into some of these regions to kind of see what's going on inside. Those longer wavelengths also can penetrate better through the dust. So some of those wavelengths allow us to look into the dust and to see star formation that is going on. So in the image taken today by the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, actually it was taken back in 2013, and we can see a lot of the structures within the dust uh, that exist today. Now, things like the Horsehead Nebula will not last forever, and that is because they are parts of star formation sites, and young stars that have formed around them will slowly eat away at that material and reshape it, so that in tens of thousands or a hundred thousand years, if we could come back and look at the Horsehead Nebula, it would no longer have the distinct horsehead shape that we are used to seeing today. What will it look like? Well, that's a good question, but we would have to wait those tens of thousands of years to be able to see how things have changed. So that was our picture of the day for April the 12th of 2020. It was titled The Horsehead Nebula in Infrared from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Strangely Placed Stone. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.